padlock was uh, founded by Homer and Mildred Scott in 1943, and it was a small business, about 3,000 acres, and has grown from there. The ranch uh, runs in Wyoming and Montana. A lot of our land's on the Crow Indian Reservation. We like to think of our product here as being an 800 pound yearling. Now that doesn't mean we sell them all at 800 pounds, but that's, if, we, if we're profitable at 800 pounds, then we've got different ways of going. Well, I think what BQA means to, to me and, and to our company is, the, uh, is all of the little processes that go into producing beef. For us, it's the whole system. Uh, everything from, from cattle handling, to movement and transport, to uh, vaccination, to facilities, genetics, the, the whole process of trying to put quality beef uh, as an end product. Beef Quality Assurance is a part of that because we're proud of what we're doing, because we want to have a good product, and it's a way of a, for us to uh, measure ourselves, to see if we're doing a good job, and if we're doing something we can be proud of. We own those cattle all the way to the retail county. So when those cattle leave here, we know what their health has been. And so we try to make educated decisions then for our management practices based on a lot of the BQA standards and guidelines that we've done. And part of it's just education. So we really believe in training. We do a series of trainings with veterinarians about how we administer shots or how we give vaccines or how we even diagnose. Our people know that when, you know, when we do vaccinate or, or give any kind of a, administer any kind of a drug, where we want that, where the company expects that to be, uh, so, so we don't neg negatively affect you know, carcass quality. I'm, I'm proud of, of the, the people that we have that are just that are just engaged in the process of, of producing beef. Uh, we're proud of the fact we're doing things right. And it not only makes sense, uh, you know, from the, what we deliver to the customer at the meat counter, but in the end it's cheaper for us too because we're doing it right. It's a, it's a stewardship ethic, if you will, uh, instilled in the people, and I think that's one of the things we're most proud of. One of the things that uh, is kind of unique with what we've been doing with Country Natural Beef is we own those cattle all the way to the retail county. So when those cattle leave here, we know what their health has been and we know what their mineral program has been. We're putting our name with this beef going through, uh, through the whole supply chain. And so it's important to us that we're doing things right and, uh, and have documentation to, to show that we are doing things right. And we spend a lot of time in documenting uh, agent source, natural status, uh, treatment protocols, vaccine protocols, animal handling protocols, animal welfare, all those things are documented. And yes, it's important to us, it's important to our customers, so uh, we have to be diligent about it. Every uh, time the animal is uh, given a shot or whether it's an antibiotic or a vaccine, it's recorded and it stays with that animal for its lifetime. All of our cows are electronically identified. All of our calves are electronically identified. Um, they have individual records associated with pregnancy or any treatments with an antibiotic or uh, vaccine administration. Those kind of things are all accounted for electronically and in a database. So we can uh, go to our records then and pull out which ones uh, have been treated in any manner. Uh, when cattle leave our yard, they all go through a, a walk-through reader. So we have a, a manifest, if you will, if you will, a shipping manifest, and then we can correlate that back to our records on uh, administration of vaccines and antibiotics and uh, origin on the ranch and so on. All of our cattle are fed here, up to about 800 or 850 pounds. We also are about the only farm in the area, so. The feed we have available to us is stuff we grow. So we grow corn silage is our primary source of feed there. We also put up a big portion of our first cutting 
hay as haylage, and then we'll get a third crop off of uh, a lot of our alfalfa, and it will be in the form of haylage. And so we'll put it up uh, in pits and uh, store it and feed in the winter. And then we will purchase some corn and uh, or other concentrates to go along with our ration. The crops that we produce are of the highest quality. Those crops then are used to feed our cattle. That end product is an insurance for higher quality beef. We monitor every aspect of our hay production, every aspect of our corn production, our grain production. We measure proteins, we measure the uh, content of our corn silage, and end product is we do a, a, a very, very good job, and that is what you see in, in the padlock beef. One of the things that we've put a, a, a large emphasis on is in cattle handling. If you reduce stress in cattle, you, you have less incidence of bruising, you have less incidence of dark cutters. The low stress handling has had a lot of different benefits for us, and it's really a culture deal. You've got to be excited about it to do it. And I think that's one of the things we've put a lot of emphasis on and have made a lot of progress on. Uh, I've really worked with uh, our employees on that, and it's part of our hiring process is making sure that people have a uh, a sense for handling cattle in that manner. You're able to give better benefits to your employees, you're able to uh, cut costs on the ranch, you got less vehicles, and it not only makes sense from the, what we deliver to the customer at the meat counter, but in the end it's cheaper for us too because we're doing it right. So it's a win-win all the way around for us. Beef Quality Assurance is a part of that because we're proud of what we're doing because we want to have a good product and it's a way of a, for us to uh, measure ourselves to see if we're doing a good job and if we're doing something we can be proud of. And we've got a dynamic company, uh, a company that is, is progressive yet traditional. So that's, that's fascinating to be able to combine, you know, historic Western ranching tradition and the technology that's available today to produce the highest quality beef that we can. A lot of pride in the Padlock Ranch, and it's a, a, a great ranch to work for, a great family to work for, and it's a wonderful part of the world.